In the small town of Ravenswood, nestled deep within the dense woods, there existed a dilapidated mansion with a dark history. The locals whispered about it in hushed tones, calling it the Harrow Manor. Legends circulated, telling tales of a family that had once lived there, a family that had mysteriously disappeared without a trace. The townsfolk warned against venturing too close to the decaying structure, claiming that the spirits of the past still roamed its desolate halls. One gloomy autumn evening, a group of adventurous friends decided to test the waters of this eerie tale. Among them was Sarah, a thrill-seeker with an insatiable curiosity for the supernatural. Despite the warnings from the townsfolk, she convinced her friends to join her on a journey to Harrow Manor. As the group approached the mansion, an unsettling chill permeated the air. The once bright moon became obscured by thick clouds, casting an ominous shadow over the decrepit building. The rusty gate creaked open as they entered the overgrown courtyard. Sarah led the way, her flashlight cutting through the darkness like a feeble beacon. The front door groaned open, revealing a foyer filled with the musty odor of neglect. Dust hung in the air like spectral whispers, and the floorboards groaned beneath their weight. The friends hesitated, but Sarah urged them forward, her excitement overriding any sense of trepidation. As they explored the mansion's rooms, a haunting atmosphere began to envelop them. The air felt thick, and strange, distant whispers echoed through the corridors. The walls seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy that sent shivers down their spines. Unseen eyes seemed to watch their every move. In one room, the friends discovered a dusty old piano covered in cobwebs. Sarah, drawn to the instrument, ran her fingers over the keys, producing an eerie melody that echoed through the mansion. The air grew colder, and the whispers intensified. A shadowy figure materialized in the doorway, sending the group into a panic frenzy. They fled from room to room, desperately seeking an escape from the encroaching darkness. The mansion seemed to warp and twist around them, its corridors leading them in circles. Sarah's friends began to vanish one by one, swallowed by the shadows that lurked in the corners. Alone and terrified, Sarah stumbled upon a hidden chamber in the mansion's depths. The room was adorned with tattered tapestries depicting a family in happier times. In the center of the room stood an ornate mirror that seemed to beckon her closer. As she approached, the reflection in the glass revealed a ghastly figure, a spectral apparition of the family that once lived within these cursed walls. The ghostly figures whispered in unison, revealing the tragic tale of Harrow Manor. The family had been tormented by an unspeakable darkness that consumed them, leaving only their restless spirits behind. Sarah, paralyzed with fear, listened as the spirit spoke of a malevolent force that fed on the living, trapping them within the mansion's spectral web. Desperation overcame Sarah as she realized the only way to escape was to confront the entity that bound the spirits to Harrow Manor. Armed with newfound determination, she delved deeper into the mansion's secrets, uncovering hidden passages and forbidden rooms. The malevolent force taunted her, manifesting in flickering shadows and spine-chilling whispers that echoed through the halls. As Sarah delved into the heart of the mansion, the malevolent force grew more powerful. Rooms distorted and shifted, creating a nightmarish maze that seemed impossible to navigate. Sarah's sanity wavered as the spirits of the past tormented her with glimpses of their tragic fates. Finally, in the heart of the mansion, Sarah confronted the source of the malevolence, a cursed artifact that pulsed with an otherworldly energy. The spirits begged her to destroy it, to free them from their eternal torment. With trembling hands, Sarah shattered the artifact, unleashing a blinding light that engulfed the mansion. In an instant, the oppressive atmosphere lifted, and the mansion crumbled into decayed ruins. Sarah found herself standing in the courtyard, surrounded by the echoes of the past. The spirits, freed from their spectral prison, thanked her with a whispered gratitude before dissipating into the night. As dawn broke, Sarah emerged from the ruins, the weight of the harrowing night etched upon her face. The townsfolk, having witnessed the mansion's collapse, gathered in stunned silence. They could sense that something profound had occurred, though they remained oblivious to the horror Sarah had faced. From that day forward, Ravenswood was shrouded in an eerie calm. 
The whispers of the past had faded, and the memory of Harrow Manor became a distant, half-forgotten nightmare. Sarah, forever changed by her ordeal, carried the chilling tale with her, haunted by the shadows that lingered in the recesses of her mind. But as the seasons changed, and the years passed, a new group of thrill-seekers arrived in Ravenswood, drawn by the legends of Harrow Manor. The cycle of curiosity and terror continued, as the whispers of the past awaited the next daring soul to unlock the doors of the mansion and awaken the malevolent force that dwelled within.